Folks, what's up? I'm Rick Knight. We're at the Wildwood Convention Center, Wildwood, New Jersey, for the ISPW. I'm here with the champ, Ace Darling, who, uh, the two-time champ. Last week, you defeated Chris Candino for the title with help of the Equalizer. Um, you've been around the square circle a long time now. You're the champ, as I said, it, and you have the match against Axel Rotten, a man that, he doesn't care, win, lose, or draw. He just wants to flush your head off on the chair, and, um, what's your thought going into that match with a cycle like that? Well, first of all, week after week, I come to Wildwood, and the people outside on the boardwalk, they're yelling stuff at me. The people inside the building, they're booing me. The guys in the locker room, they're not talking to me. Everywhere I go, it's not just in Wildwood, it's everywhere on the independents. People are snubbing me. Fans are booing me. And I've been thinking, I've been thinking, I've been thinking, why? But you know why? It's something my mother always told me. <laughs> You see, because Mama always told me they'd be jealous. <laughs> and man, was she right. Because the fans here, they don't, they're not paying their money to see the Bushwhackers. They're not paying their money to see Gilberg. They're not paying their money to see Skip and Sonny come out there in the square circle. They're not paying their money to see Axel Rodden or King Kong Bundy. They're paying their money to see the I. SPW Heavyweight Champion. You see, I'm calling the shots around here. I'm selling the tickets out there. I've been packing this house week after week after week. So whether it's Axel Rotten, Chris Candido, Too Cold Scorpio, Tommy Fierro, keep lining up your superstars. Because <laughs> I'm just having too much fun this summer beating them up. <laughs> I'm getting and I don't like you. Rocco, 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 get a hold of yourself. Quit. <laughs> you want to mess with ISPW, baby? It's going to happen to you. I know I get a superstar of ECW, Axel Rotten, that's guaranteed to be, a, 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 I mean, a ridiculously crazy match. The talented equalizer is in the uh, corner of Ace Darling earlier, uh, just a few minutes ago actually. I interviewed the heavyweight champion here at the ISPW, uh, Ace Darling, and I accidentally called him uh, Axel Rotten, and uh, it was, you know, there was about to be some uh, fist and feet throwing, but luckily I made it out alive. Ace Darling, you know, spends a lot of time in the gym. He's pumped up, he's excited, and he has a match coming up in just a moment. I'm going to have to go with Ace Darling because I believe he has the technical and scientific skills it takes to be a champ and to maintain being the champ, to maintain that title. Excuse me, last week uh, he won the title for the second time against Chris Candino with the help of Equalizer. There you have it. You just heard the ring announcer uh, just announce Axel Rotten from ECW. He, he's a psycho, Axel Rotten. He comes in with a chair with the scars on the forehead and the scars on the arm. Axel Rotten, folks, he's going to want to bring it. He doesn't care about the title. He doesn't want the title. He asked for a non-title match. He wanted a blood match. He said, hey, I don't want to be the champ. Being the champ, that means you got to follow certain rules. He said, I don't want to do that. I just want to hurt people. I just want to put people in the hospital. He doesn't care if he gets fined. He really doesn't care. He better be careful because the commissioner of the ISBW, the Iron Sheik, he's lurking in the back somewhere to make sure everybody, you know, stays in place. Axel Rotten attempting to get in the ring, but the Equalizer won't let him. He's attempting to get things started, but he won't let Axel Rotten in the ring with that chair. Axel Rotten, what? Oh, 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 look at this. Trying to hit them with the chair. That could cost them. This is not ECW fans, this is the ISPW. There's no way Axel is going home with this tonight. No way! Ace Darwin, ISPW heavyweight champion. Uh, you know, like I said once before, I'm going to have to go with Ace Darling in this match because I believe he has the scientific skills to take. Plus he has the equalizer in his corner. 
he's got what it takes, you know, to, to get over on this match, I believe. Not taking anything away from Axel Rotten. He's an extremely tough opponent. And um, if this was a hardcore match, I would, without a doubt, have to go with Axel Rotten. You know, because he just, Axel Rotten, you know, he's rough, rugged, and raw. He doesn't care. He really doesn't care who he hurts. And he doesn't care if he hurts himself trying to hurt you. Referee trying to convince Dr. Ron to put the chair down and get the, get the match started. Looks like Ace Darling attempting to enter the ring right now, coming into the second rope. Ace Darling's in the ring. He's turning his back on Axelrod, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. I believe, uh, I believe Ace Darling has the strength advantage for the simple fact that he's in the gym, he's pumped up, he's training, he's, he's, he's always on point. Every time you see him, you know, oh, he looks, Axelrod going after his opponent. But as I was saying, um, Axel Rotten definitely has the weight advantage. He has about maybe 30 pounds over. You know, it's it's tough. Axel, I'm not taking anything away from him. I've seen him take on guys twice the size of him, and I've seen him cripple them with that chair countless times. But he's also taken on a man like Ace Darling, who's as big as he is. I've seen him, you know, climb them ropes with cat-like maneuver. They're squaring up. They're about to uh, tie it up. Let's see what they can do. Ace Darling, you know, he's young. He's, you know, he's under 30. Young man, he's a two-time uh, champion, heavyweight champion at the ICW. When you talk about being experienced, talking about being a veteran in the sport, you're talking about Ace Darling. You know, he's not the champ for nothing. He's the champ because he took on guys like Tuco Scorpio. He took on guys like Chris Candido. Now we see it with Axel Rotten once again proving himself. You know, I'm not taking nothing away from Axel Rotten, of course, because... Uh, you know, we, we've also seen him take on top-notch names in ECW and here at the ISPW. Uh, they're yet to, uh, yet to start this match, and there comes the chair once again. Oh, Axel Rotten offering the chair to Ace Dog. Ace Dog don't want none of it. He's a traditional wrestler. He wants nothing of it. He doesn't want the chair. He, wa he wants to grapple. That's what he wants to do. And I can sympathize with him because, you know, I, I wouldn't want to use chairs either, you know. I wouldn't want to get in there and wrestling and showcase my talent. And Kyle and Elbow tie up. Oh, and my mistake. You know, earlier I said the strength department would have to go to Ace Darling, but uh, looks like I might be wrong. Ace Darling, you know, he's outweighed by a few pounds, but, you know, that's nothing new to him. You know, when you're the champ and you're on the level of professionalism he's on, you know, you, you can utilize anything. You can do whatever it takes. You can neutralize your opponent no matter how big he is. Kyle and elbow tie up. What's going to happen here? Side headlock applied. Nice side headlock by, uh, by the big man, Axel Rotten. I should call him rugged Axel Rotten, actually. Off the ropes. Ace Darling is throwing him to the ropes. And uh, looks like a shoulder block and down goes Ace. Wow, why would he want to stand there and... Receive a shoulder block like that. Axel once again showing him that he's more powerful, that he's got the momentum needed, you know, to take a taste on in this match. I'm here uh, by myself once again. Big 80 Zonny B is yet to, uh, yet to come to the booth. I hope he didn't get hurt, you know, early on in that match with Bundy. He took a spear from Gilbert, you know, Spear can damage your ribs. I wonder where he is. And over the top rope goes Ace Darling. And right to the floor goes Axel Ryan. He's going right after his opponent. He's taking it to him in a hardcore style. A chop and Ace Darling to the floor. This is right now. Oh, well, throws him right into the steel post. Right now, this is Axel Rotten's game for the simple fact that they're on the outside. And there comes the chair. The fans are handing a chair. And it's a chair shot right to the back. That should be a disqualification, folks. The referee should the squad who care how what how big this match up if it's for the title or not. That should be a disqualification. This is not a hardcore match. Axel Ryan taking advantage of his opponent. Somebody 
Axel Rotten, folks. He's got that chair once again. And, and he's hitting a song with it. You heard him. And it looks like the equalizer was a bodyguard. You know, I think he's there for nothing. He's not helping his, his partner out. Ace Darwin now would stomp to the head of uh, Ace, um, Axel Rotten. Excuse me. Shot to the back of the neck. And an elbow. Looks like Ace Darwin turned the tides. And now a oh, drop kick right to the face there. I mean, that would definitely uh, knock your headline back an inch or two. Ace Darwin now uh, talking with the referee. So uh, his man, the equalizer, can take advantage of his opponent. Leg drop right on the face. Oh, that would do you in. Who's the best? Who's the best? Ace says. I don't think the crowd thinks it's him. And he's hooking the leg. That's the mark of a champion right there to hook the leg. His experience is showing early. To the middle ropes goes Ace Darling. What's going to happen? Ace up with it. Oh, Ace with a nice double axe handle right to the head of Axel, uh, Axel Rotten. I don't think that's going to hurt Axel Rotten. He, he likes to hit himself with chairs. Hey, Storm, better be careful because I heard the, the team, the, the World Extreme Wrestling team, the Samoans, mentioned something about getting the heavyweight title in the ICW. Hey, hey Storm, better be careful. You don't want the wild Samoans chasing him down, man. They're crazy. They'll follow him home and burn his house down if they have to. Yeah, they're crazy. They'll even eat his dog. And a drop kick, and down goes Ace Axel Rotten. Ace Darwin, uh, right now we got the upper hand. What's going to happen now? Was he playing? Oh, oh, I think he's going up. Ace Darwin, you know, he's a big man. He stands about 6'3", 6'4", about 255 pounds. He climbs the rope, too, though, like a cat up there. There he goes, taking his time like a champ. Oh, what a frog splash, and he misses. He misses the splash off the top rope. Axel Rotten is on his feet, and he blocks the shot. Some lefts and rights, the ones and twos, throwing him into the rope. Oh, back elbow right into the chest. Ace Darwin is on his feet. He's sending Ace in again. And a clothesline, oh, and it sends him flipping. Just knocked the head right off Ace Darwin. Axel Rotten, he, I think he's calling for the chair again. The equalizer's in the ring. What's going to happen? Oh, right off, right over the head of, of the equalizer. He just made him a few inches shorter. The, the referee's interfering. Ace got the belt. He is act with the belt. He's making the cover. The ref didn't see the belt. One, two, three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner and still the ISBW heavyweight champion, Ace Starling. Wow, amazing what goes on here at the I, at Wildwood Convention Center, Wildwood, New Jersey. I'm Rick Knight. We're at the ISPW Film Crew of Courses Goliath Productions. Unbelievable. You hear the music of the champ, Ace Darlin, walking away. Once again, Ace Darlin outsmarted his opponent and walks away the champ. Referee with the chair. Referee better get out of there. Axel will beat him with that chair. There, the ref is out of there. Escaping with the skin of his teeth. The referee better get out of there because Axel will he'll, he'll kill him. He don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, you can check Goliath Production on uh, www.bodyslam.com. You can also uh, order the tape. You can order tonight's event, the last four nights, and next week's event. The number is the order line number is 1-800-337-0871. You can order the tape. But right here, you can kick ass food that anybody ever seen. Thank you. Next time, I'm coming back. Tommy Zero, I'm bringing the ball wire back. I'm going to wrap around somebody's head. Axel Rotten is not threatening nobody. He's promising them. He will bring that bat next week and wrap it around everybody's head. I seen him do it. Axel Rotten just doesn't care. He doesn't care if he wins or lose. He don't care if he's a champ. He doesn't care if he's, if he's anything. He just wants to hurt people.